Everything I'm going to cover in this video is specific to military Chevy pickup trucks with their stock 24 volt wiring system. This information will not apply to trucks that are converted to 12 volts or any civilian vehicle. Hello viewers. I recently posted a video about how to understand and troubleshoot glow plugs on military pickup trucks that have the unusual hybrid 12 volt 24 volt wiring system. This is a follow-up to that video because last time I went to start this truck I noticed something unusual. Watch and listen very carefully when I turn the key on. Do you hear that cycling? Even though the weight light went out, the glow plug relay is still cycling. Right now it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The engine is stone cold, been sitting here for several days. And at this temperature with a stone cold engine, that relay should be staying on for quite a long time. We saw the weight light go out, and that was timed correctly. But even though the weight light went out, that relay was still cycling. That tells me that I have some bad glow plugs or a bad connection someplace to some of the glow plugs. If I turned the key on and the relay engaged and disengaged very rapidly, that would tell you that all the glow plugs are burned out or disconnected. But in this case, because it cycled a few times and it cycled relatively slowly, some of the, of the glow plugs are working, but not all of them. Even on a warm day with the stone cold engine, that relay stays engaged for quite a while. Usually it stays engaged well after the, glow, the uh, weight light goes out. It's waiting for you just to start the engine and it's leaving the glow plugs turned on even after you start the engine, even on a warm day. So on a cold day like this, that relay should stay on probably for at least a minute until you turn the key off or the engine starts up and runs. So we've got a problem. I'll do this one more time and I'll put the microphone a little bit closer to the firewall because the relay that you're hearing clicking is right here on the other side of the firewall. I'll take this microphone and put it up, up under the dash and I'll see if you can hear that clicking. That was a very short cycle. Turning the glow plugs on for that brief amount of time will never start this engine. If you were to bypass the relay, or if you were to manually activate the relay thinking that you're going to get this truck going, that will si significantly stress the other remaining functioning glow plugs in the system. So if you're stranded someplace and need to get home, then maybe that's what you need to do. But sitting here in the shop, I'm not going to manually activate that relay to try to get this truck to start. Now, you normally want to change all eight glow plugs together as a set, and that's what I intend to do if that's what I find the problem is. But let's say you've just got a bad connection someplace. You don't want to artificially stress and cause the other remaining glow plugs to burn out if you just have a bad connection. So I'm going to dive into this and see what we find. I'm not going to cover the troubleshooting and the, the testing process because I covered that pretty thoroughly in the previous video. That previous video I actually shot about a year and a half ago. I realize I just posted it recently, but there's actually been about a year and a half span between the time I shot that video and today. So I've been using the truck quite a bit since then. So I'm not surprised if I have some faulty glow plugs. And the verdict is bad glow plugs. I found two good ones and six faulty glow plugs. And four of them have already swelled enough at the tip that I'm going to have trouble getting them out of the engine. But now you know, if you hear your relay cycling like you saw in this video on a stone cold engine, you might need new glow plugs. <laughs> 